This one's called CLI Companion. Basically, it's a good tool for people that wants to get into the terminal. I could have definitely used this when I, uh, you know, first used Linux. But anyways, they just made this uh, recently. So this is the program. Basically, uh, I'll describe it as the terminal with notes. Okay. So your notes is up here, and this is your terminal. And uh, the notes are organized really well. I really like it. Okay. Uh, you can actually search, you know, all your notes here. So they search for something clear or something, or um, what's it, PC, or whatever, right? And it filters it out, and you can look at it really quick. I dig that, right? Uh, what else here? So they give you commands here, uh, and the user argument and the description. Uh, depends if there is a user argument, you have to type it in, okay? Otherwise, it's just one single command, and that's it. If you have a user argument, you have to type something in, and sometimes they tell you type in a package, a process, or a path, or something like that. Right? Just depends what it is. Uh, so let's try one of these out here. We're gonna try the first one. This first one is uh, was it a fine version of a package, and this is the command here, and the user argument is you have to type in a package. So let's type one in here: dpkg-l. And the package can be, you know, Banshee, whatever you have on your computer, Firefox or whatever it is. So I'm going to type in Banshee. And there you go. It tells us the name of it and the version, which is uh, what it says in the description to find the version. Uh, another thing you can do in here is, uh, you know, have tabs if you like. You want to open another terminal. Not a big deal, but you can do that. And um, oh yeah, if you want to get like a little bit more help, not really that useful, but you know, I, I guess you can do it too. And you highlight on the commands that you have, and you click on help. Basically, it'll try to search for it. If there is none, then you see none. But if there is some, let me try another one here. No, that didn't work either. Let's see what else is here. There you go. Help. There you go. If the, if it does show up, then I'll tell you something about it. You see what is this one? List all PCI devices and all that. So that's something you can look for, but not really that helpful. Uh, you can actually add in your own. So you can click on Add here. All right. Let me, let me add one here. I'm gonna add in the command line for adding repositories. So sudo add apt repository. And a user input is PPA. I'm gonna call this adding a PPA. That's it. And hit OK. And now it saves it into your list here, right? And you can use it later if you forget. Uh, a quicker way to do this, uh, or if you want to do like you know more than one really quick, uh, instead of wasting your time, click on Add. You can actually go into your home folder. So you go into your home folder, and there's this hidden file called .cli companion. And you can actually use gedit or whatever editor you're using, and just type it out yourself. All right, not that hard. But here's everything that's saved. All right, so there you go. Basically, that's how you use it. I actually would recommend it to uh, new users uh, because you want to build up your, you know, command line vocabulary. I'll post some command line sites so you can go to, and uh, you know, get, get yourself some new commands because this is not enough for. Uh, you know new people I guess if you want to build it up more anyways that's it for this one uh, see like companion if you want to get into the terminal that's it